The Agola web application reads vast amounts of text, automatically clusters together related stories or documents, then generates a multi-document summary by identifying the most salient points across these documents. Today, Agolo does this several million times each day. Let's build a quick search and take a look at Agolo in action. So we're going to give this a name, and I'm going to call this one Wind Energy. Let's take a look at the Wind Energy sector. I'll choose sources of the content. In this case, I'll start with Factiva, which is a news aggregation of several thousand news sources. And then I'll add to it several company news pages uh, within the Wind Energy section sector. So let's take Orsted, we'll take Vestas, we can have Nordex, we'll have uh, Siemens Gamesa. Uh, again, you can pick as many as you want. In this case, I've got five sources from my uh, feed. Now we'll need to give it some keywords to do the search. So let's start. It's going to have to have the term wind in it. And perhaps I want to see um, turbine and I want to see offshore, I want to see onshore, I may want to see um, contracts, I want to see energy, um, deal, whatever. So in this case it would have to have the word wind and any of those terms in there. And it, instead of saying anywhere in the article I want just those that appear in the the title or the lead paragraph of this uh, of the story. So that gave me 67 articles for the last two days. Let's expand that to look at a week's worth of content. We've got, uh, in this case, 512 stories. So what Agola is going to do now is it's going to read those 512 articles. It's going to cluster together related stories, stories that are part of the same overall storyline, and then it'll generate summaries for each of those clusters, and we see where we've already got some of those results here. Um, to make it a little easier, easier to navigate, I'm going to add a bubble chart here, and we can view uh, these clusters charted over time. The size of the bubble is going to tell me how many stories there are, and then the uh, axis here is the relevancy. I'm going to make it a little more relevant. I'm going to bring in up, up the relevancy. I'm going to say only give me those that have a cluster of at least um, two articles in it. So here's a big cluster. I'll take a look at this one. Uh, we see Prismian to develop submarine cable system for floating offshore wind farm. So this is a summary constructed from three articles all about the same overall topic. And as you can see in the bullets here in the summary, it pulled this uh, first bullet from one of those articles, it pulled the second bullet from a second article, and then it pulled the last three all from this uh, Penton Business Media article. If I click on the Penton uh, link, I can see the full text of that story, and I see the uh, individual three sentences, one here, uh, one here, and then one below that got uh, included in this summary. Uh, so a very easy way to navigate vast amounts of news and identify kind of quickly what's going on with that. If I wanted to share some of this with a, another user, I have downstream applications, I can select the, the articles that are most relevant to me. Uh, I can then copy those to the clipboard or I can download them into a report, share them depending on whatever my downstream application might be. Uh, Agola makes it really easy to navigate through vast amounts of content, quickly get a sense of what's going on, summarize that, and then share it or publish it downstream into other applications.